So, the first school supply that you really need is um, pad paper because that's why you write down your homework and you have to submit to your teacher and when you write your exercise and stuff. So, um, for me, I need a yellow pad paper that is legal size but not only for 11 to college grade. Um, if you are living in the Philippines from grade 5 to 10, you will need a white intermediate pad in um, letter size. And um, if you're in the US or Canada, I think you have to get the binder paper, the 3 hole binder paper. Yeah, so the first one that you really need is pad paper. The second item or school supply that you really need is a notebook because that is where you will write all your notes and do a place where you can go review your notes and organize them. So, um, I'll show you different kinds of notebook. This is the notebook that I'm currently using. It's a B526 hold notebook and it's normally a Japanese style notebook. Um, you don't have to get those fancy notebooks um, if you only want to. So, you can just go to your local shop and buy like a spiral notebook or you can get a composition notebook, the one without the rings if you want it more sturdy. But it's up to your preference, but you just basically need a notebook. And um, sometimes in the US, um, they have binders, so you can also use a binder like for your storage of notes and you can use three hold paper. So it's just your preference, you just need a notebook basically. The next school supply you need is a pencil. Um, for those of you who are taking drawing or taking math, science classes, you guys need a pencil. Because if you make lots of mistakes, that's a lot of erasures and correction that you're going to use. So, I suggest you get yourself a pencil. So, the pencil that I'm use, currently using is a Muji 0.5mm mechanical pencil rubber grip. And you don't have to get a mechanical pencil, but I generally dislike wooden pencils, so I switched to mechanical pencil. But you can always get yourself the HD pencils, the wooden pencils. This is the logo number two. So you can um, choose which of the two kinds of pencils you like. And it doesn't matter the brand. Technically, you just have to get yourself a pencil. Next one you need are pens. Generally, you need pens to, of course, write your notes, write the dust papers, and write your exercises. So mainly, they you mean write to. Now, to be just the basic and simplistic kind, you don't need to go splurge out all your money on colored pens like ones in Muji, Papermate. You know, basically, you just need a black pen or a blue pen, whatever fits. And basically, you need a red pen or a green pen for checking since um, my teachers usually check with red or green, so they just allow us. So, writing, you can just use like this two and the one I have here. Um, it's the MMG Blue 0.5mm gel pen. And this red one is also an MMG Red 0.5mm gel pen. And this is the MNG 0.38mm. So, um, because I'm a visual learner, I learned I need my notes in color, like to have color so that I'll remember how it looks like when I'm in the test. So that's just me, but if you want to like save money, all you need to buy are a pack of black, blue, and red ball pens. Next thing you'll need is a correction tape. A correction tape is the one that you used to wipe out your pen mistakes and basically you can get any type of correction tape which one floats your boat but the one I've been using the most is the Mr. Whipper Plus Correction Tape and it's absolutely great for me the best correction tape because like the how you correction tape it the white thing it sticks properly because some correction tape it doesn't and plus this has a lot the roll is long, it's like, this is, I don't, it's around 5 to 8 like, meters, so you just 
which lasts me like one quarter, which is about two months, but it depends on how much you spend. So, yeah, you really need a correction. Next, you need an eraser because if you make a mistake with your pencil, you need something to erase the mistake. And that's what an eraser is for. So, you can get any type of eraser, but my favorite is the Faber Castell Dust Free Eraser. Um, there is a reason why I like it. Um, one, um, when you erase, it's like all those small lines on the, the eraser dust, like it collects by itself. So they're like all in one, so easier cleaning. And two, um, it cleans out even the darker shade of pencil. So that's really a plus since normally when I use other erasers, when I try to erase, um, the there's still like a hint of the paint, the pencil ink, so um, that is why I'm using this eraser, but you can use it if you preference. So next up, you need like a geometry kit, basically the materials or the essentials you need to survive geometry. So for me, we didn't require that much, but I needed a ruler, this is just a 6 inch ruler by Faber Castle, but um, you can get your 6, 6 inch or 12 inch preferably, but my 12 inch is just in my locker currently, so I don't have it. Um, next, you need a, of course, a protractor with measuring angles. So I just got the Oreo Super Protractor and it comes in a small, medium, and large. I just got the small. And um, you need a compass to make like perfect circles. So I just have this deli compass and it's a mechanical pencil so the lead and it's like 0 0.5 so I don't have to keep changing the pencil if it's like there's some compasses that only come with wooden pencil which I don't like because I have to like find super small pencils but yeah and um you might also need that ruler shape in like a triangle but we didn't use it so I don't need to buy it. So basically, you need a geometry kit. Next, you will need a calculator because, of course, in math class, sometimes you're supposed to use a calculator, like for AP Calculus AB, AP Calculus BC, Physics, Chem, Statistics. So you will really need a good calculator. And I suggest if you get a calculator, you better get one that um, stays with you throughout high school or maybe for college. So the first one I'm currently using is a Casio FX 991EX class with calculator and this is a general calculator that can do like algebra, statistics, you know, so it really helped me and like the, when you do the square roots, it'll at least simplify it for you on like all the calculators to give you decimal places and stuff. So this is the one of the best calculators for cash it's the class wins. Mainly it was made for students and it also has a solar power which you can also save battery. The next one I have is a graphing calculator. Now you don't need to go buy a graphing calculator if you're not taking any calculus or physics. So you only need a graphing calculator if you're sure you're going to like take up calculus or physics. So mainly, um, I have the TI 84 plus CE calculator in the original color. So this is my graphing calculator and I don't use it that much because I haven't done calculus so this is mainly my graphing calculator and I still don't know how to use like I still don't know how to use the functions. I can only know how to do like calculus stuff and I um, if you're using this, I recommend you get yourself a protective case since this can break easily when dropped. Unlike this, it has a like, this cover is like very sturdy. It has dropped I don't even know how many times. So um, the case I can recommend you is this. This is the Bobke protective case. I got it from Amazon and um, it cost around $5. And um, mainly it has like a compartment here, to s zipper compartment to store like chargers and stuff. And this is where your calculator will 
where you put your calculator so like if it falls down it's very protected so yeah next you will need a planner a planner is where you will like organize and write down all the stuff basically it's a place to keep your to-do stuff monthly stuff what's happening it's basically the thing that can only keep you like keep you organized in life and before you go start buying your planners you don't need to go splurge out on a moleskin planner or those expensive type of planner you basically need the basic ones you can get like the ones on your local bookstores the one that only costs like maybe two or three dollars you don't need to go for fancy stuff because mainly you need it to like write down what you need to do what are coming dates that you need to remember and stuff so this is my journals by the paper stone it's a singaporean brand i got this for my birthday and basically there's like a yearly plan and then we have monthly plans then we have weekly plans and this is where i write down like um what's gonna happen like all the tests and stuff and um what lessons i need to review for the test um, in my monthly, I would just write down the date of like holidays or is there anything special on that day and um, and that's it. They have a notes area which is great. A lot of notes areas since I write down like video ideas, like video ideas, blog ideas. Yeah, so you just need basically a planner to keep your stuff in check and you can also do bullet journal. Or you can also like if you want to go paperless. There's always a ton of apps that can uh, planner apps in iOS and Android. And I'll be soon making a video on the top productivity in school apps you will need if you guys have seen. If you guys are using like iPads and stuff. So next, you need to have these three if you guys are having projects and stuff so first thing is glue you can I have a pilot liquid glue that's two tips the one is a thin tip and the one's like a big fat tip um you can get liquid glue or glue stick but personally glue stick it doesn't like stick that much whenever I use glue stick my papers would like fall off from my notebook so I just got myself liquid glue although it takes long to dry and when I say long, 20 minutes. Um, next, you need tape if you're the person who hates using glue. Then you can use tape or one more thing. If you're looking for glue, you can use liquid glue, glue stick, or there's something called as glue tape. It's like a correction tape except it's glue. It's sticky. So I have yet to see one here, but it's more costly and it has like... It's much smaller so I just think I'll go for the liquid glue and last you just need scissors for like cutting papers or tapes so mainly if you have projects these three will come in handy next thing you will need is a stapler basically when you have like join like how do you say project papers a bundle of them you record to staple them so you need a staple to put together all those papers the homeworks projects and stuff and you can get a big stapler if you guys are like staple stapling yeah, stapling like more than 10 pages no more than around more than five pages because this little one can only staple up to five pages this one can staple more so it depends um how much papers you guys staple so for me I just use a big, I leave a big one in school and I just leave a small one at the house since um, my mom and dad has another big stapler up in their room so I can just borrow it if I need to staple something with more than five papers. Next that you will need are index cards. If you don't know, um, index cards mainly here are an essential because like we will write down our information and put like a our one by one photo there for each teacher so we must really buy index cards plus index cards can be used as a flashcards or 
review summary but if you are not like an avid flashcards type of person then you don't need index cards or if, if your professor doesn't need you to like um, give him a an index card with all your information then you can just disregard this so mainly I have a one half index card a one fourth and a one eighth though I use one eighth more generally and if you are like if you learn quickly with flashcard but have like a lot of terms and definitions to memorize that you have to keep buying flashcards um i highly highly suggest um quizlet it's really good and mainly it will like help you save the environment by buying less index cards buying less using less paper and um saving money but if you like learn with writing then go on you can use index cards i am not stopping you or judging next thing that you will need is a water jug um a water jug like will to keep you hydrated you can refill your water using the water fountain and it will save you money from buying what like plastic water bottle from the canteen and like using one time plastic and basically wasting your money so i recommend you to get a water jug that is one spill proof two break it's not gonna be able to break easily when it falls down so this is a water jug that i used for three years and it has it fell down a lot of times but it's still here this is the typo 700 ml water jug and i also recommend you to get a bigger one since you can store more water so maybe water jugs that are around 500 no around 600 ml and above so this is the water jug i use it just has a k and it's turquoise and this is also one that i can recommend you since i got this as a christmas gift yeah um a late christmas gift and this is a contigo water bottle i forgot the contigo auto seal water bottle mainly this is a spill proof because you have to press this and open this just to drink and you can like push this button so no water is able to come out um this i think for me um i think it can break i don't know if it can break easier than that but this is basically a spill proof water bottle because you can like have this lock that you can hang it on your bag so i just recommend you getting a water bottle to stay hydrated in class next i recommend you guys to get yourself an umbrella so an umbrella is there to protect you in case it rains because you'll never know what's the weather gonna be like after you go to school or when walking to school so just to protect yourself just have an umbrella or like a raincoat and you can get any type of umbrella this is they do the same job no matter which one you get so just pick a random umbrella and bring it with you everywhere you go next i recommend you guys to get a lock and a key because um our school of course is to bring our own lock and key to lock our lockers so that nothing gets stolen but um if you guys if your school provides you with lock and keys well you are generally you generally don't need to do this but you can also buy a lock and key for your bag so that nothing so there's no like pickpocketing but yeah this is just mainly for your locker the next thing you have to get yourself is a USB so if your school um, lets you use your computer or if you need to send files or print files from your local library you need to use a USB to store those files and I recommend you guys to get a large capacity USB so if you're doing projects like thesis and stuff you won't run out of space so mine currently is a sandis 32 gig usb and it's, it works pretty well and it's like both for the computer and for the android so like file transfers are easy easier but you don't have to get this kind since it's expensive you can just get yourself a normal 
one or two gig USB and I bet they're more affordable than this. And um, supposed the last thing that you will be needing is a backpack. Um, you need a sturdy backpack or a good quality backpack that can at least last you for more than one or two years to like help you save money. So just invest in a good quality backpack that has like a um, that's very sturdy, waterproof, and that can provide cushion for your back when you are carrying your backpack because you'll be carrying a lot of stuff. So yeah, I recommend you can get the for me the Northwest back the Northwest yeah the Northwest backpack hawk backpack or even the can can backpack are really nice and normally those um last up to three to four years since my cousins are normally using those kinds of bags. Um, this backpack has lasted me from grade ten and hopefully till twelfth grade. So. We'll see. And um, lastly, you need to get yourself a periodic table. So if you're taking chemistry class, you would know how important a periodic table is because sometimes in the test without it, you are generally dead. Although sometimes your teacher provides us the normal periodic table, the ones with just the symbols and not the name, you know, so that there won't be any cheating cases. But just bring yourself a periodic table to class if you're taking AP chemistry or just any chemistry class because I guarantee you would need a periodic table for it. And that's all for this video so thank you guys for watching. Hope you like this video and hope you guys have a good first day back to school. Um, if you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell button. To never miss an update of any of my videos and now you can check out my back to school 2019 playlist where I have my school supply shopping video, my what's in my backpack, my what's in my pencil case and this video and other upcoming back to school videos that can be tips or you know hauls and stuff basically anything that will give you at least a motivation to go back to school or just things you need to know before back to school so yeah i will see you guys in my next video oh and um before i forget comment down below which school supply or which school supplies you need to essentially survive throughout the whole school year so i'll see you in my next video bye